Tennessee Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a busy pattern for our friends off to the north, northwest. Winter still in effect across the northern Rockies, big sky uh, country of Montana, and then more severe weather busting out. And this is going to be a hot spot tonight and into tomorrow as well. The threat of severe storms, mainly hail bearing storms here in Oklahoma. The same uh, for much of Arkansas into Mississippi, portions of Tennessee. But uh, right now, not a whole lot going on, although we do have a severe thunderstorm warning just northeast of the Memphis area. This is all associated with a frontal boundary that's going to hang to the north of us most of the weekend, but eventually pushes on through as a cool front as we head into Sunday night. That's when we'll see our rain chances and arguably there could be a marginal risk for severe storms. We'll get to that in just a bit. Lots of cloud cover breeze out of the south temperatures in the mid 70s at this hour, so we're not going to cool off a whole lot more tonight. Now, not a whole lot precipitation showing up on the Doppler, although power Doppler three picking up on some of these lighter showers, and this is why it's nice to have a local Doppler radar. You can't see this on the Lake Charles radar, but there are a few spotty showers out there and it's misty as well. We have that low slung stratiform cloud deck that stays with us overnight tonight. Might see a break or two in the clouds here and there, but a cloudy night, cloudy start to the day. But tomorrow afternoon, we're hoping we're going to see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Notice this frontal boundary, all the showers and storms near it, but they stay pretty much north of the area. But we, that's why we have to carry 20% rain chances for tomorrow. And the same goes for Sunday. Cloudy start to Sunday, but we think more sunshine for Sunday afternoon than heading into Sunday evening. That's when a front will be pushing on through. We think we'll probably see more thunderstorm activity across the area Sunday night into early Monday. And then after that, back to sunny skies, cooler temperatures for a couple of days early next week. Severe weather threat for tomorrow into tomorrow night, staying to the north pretty much in the same areas that we have going on right now. But then as we head into Sunday and Sunday night, specifically for Acadia, Indiana. could see a couple of storms that could produce hail, maybe some gusty winds, not a tornado situation, but we'll keep an eye on things. And of course, meteorologist Bradley Benoit will have the latest throughout the weekend because those areas do change and morph during the course of the days ahead. Temperatures lower 70s overnight tonight. Tomorrow we'll get into the low to mid 80s. You see that cooler air to the north. It tries to make a run to the south, but doesn't quite. So we start off Easter morning in the lower 70s and then back into the low to mid 80s for Sunday afternoon. So here's the true view forecast in case you haven't noticed it. Uh, this takes our model data and shows you the actual clouds, the layered clouds, the direction they're moving in, and maybe a peek at that uh, full pink moon out there overnight tonight. For tomorrow, plenty of clouds in the morning once again. It's kind of like doing a time lapse of weather. Here I'm going to stop it right at 3 o'clock and we'll see again a little bit more sunshine out there. And then as we head into tomorrow evening, more clouds coming on in. And the same goes for Easter Sunday. Plenty of clouds for sunrise services, uh, but hopefully more afternoon sun with a nice tropical breeze. Uh, we'll go 85 for the high for our Easter Sunday. So as we move forward, temperatures mid 80s, overnight lows, lower 70s. Front gets here late Sunday night, early Monday. That brings some nice weather to the area for Monday, Tuesday of next week for sure. Gradual warm up, very slight rain chances all of next week. And then the following weekend, pushing the mid to upper 80s. And look at that latest computer. Computer model forecast 88 next mm. Sunday. That's a little, I'll tone that down maybe. Okay. If, uh, unless it was 87 it, earlier, wasn't it? It was 87, okay. and the newest data comes in just as we go to commercial break, so that was a little bit of a surprise. But okay, well, hopefully it's a little cooler. It's two degrees shy of that nine number. We're dreading that, yes. but we know it's coming. Okay, thanks, Rob.